This video is about urticaria. Urticaria is also known as hives. Hives is characterized by erythematous edematous blocks. Watch this video till the end because in the next 5 minutes you are about to learn the pathogenesis, clinical features, histopathology, diagnosis and treatment of urticaria. Before moving on, hit the subscribe button and bell icon next to it to watch more free simplified medical lectures and you will not miss out any of my videos if you hit the bell icon. Also click the link in the description to subscribe to my other channel 2 minute doc where you can learn about various topics in less than 2 minutes. So say hello to our new friend Andy. Andy is diagnosed with urticaria and Andy is going to uh, teach us the clinical features of urticaria. So Andy tell us about the lesions on your body. Oh he says that the lesions are very itchy. He also says that these lesions are more on trunk, extremities and ears which are areas exposed to pressure. Andy is a 25 year old guy. Yeah, it is common in the age group of 20 to 40 years. He also says that these lesions usually disappear within 24 hours. That is one of the common feature seen in urticaria. These lesions usually won't last for more than 24 hours. Unlike Andy, there are some cases where there is persistent urticaria which leads to uh, which which lasts for days to months as seen in certain collagen vascular diseases and in Hodgkin, Hodgkin lymphoma. And he says when he takes certain drugs like aspirin he gets these kind of lesions and they disappear within 24 hours so they don't last for more than six weeks right so if the episodes last for less than six weeks it is called as acute urticaria. Chronic urticaria is when the episode lasts for more than six weeks mostly it is idiopathic where the cause is unknown. It can also occur due to cold exposure, water exposure, sun exposure and in certain autoimmune conditions. Now let's see the pathogenesis of urticaria in detail. Oh sure Andy. Mast cells are the important mediators of urticaria. They are the important cells involved in urticaria. They have IgE antibodies on their surface. These mast cells release histamine when an antigen binds to IgE receptors on mast cells. Histamine increases capillary permeability by causing vasodilation. This is responsible for the erythematous edematous plaques seen in urticaria which are itchy due to histamine. Now let's see the histopathology of urticaria. The epidermis is usually normal and unaffected as you can see here. There is superficial dermal edema which can be seen as increase in spaces between the collagen fibers. We can also see dilated blood vessels due to vasodilation caused by histamine. The lymphatics are also dilated in the dermis. This is because of increased resorption of the dermal edema fluid. Now let's see the pathogenesis in a bit more detail. Urticaria can occur uh, in certain conditions which are mast cell dependent and IgE dependent. In this type, certain antigens bind to IgE receptor, which causes histamine release. These triggers are usually pollens, drugs, certain food items, and insect sting venom. Next type is mast cell dependent but IgE independent. In this type, antigens directly act on mast cells instead of acting on IgE receptors. These kind of antigens are opiates, antibiotics, cure and radiographic contrast media. The last type is both mast cell and IgE independent. Here there are other local factors causing uh, these, these uh, findings other than histamine such as leukotrienes and serotonin which cause uh, increase in vascular permeability and urticaria. This is commonly seen in aspirin which inhibits the enzyme cyclooxygenase and in hereditary angioneurotic edema, neurotic edema which is which is due to C1 inhibitor deficiency. However, the exact mechanism in these conditions is unknown. Urticaria is usually a clinical diagnosis. Radioallergosorbent test, also called as RAST, can be used in urticaria caused by food allergen where specific Ig antibodies against specific food allergens can be identified. Autoimmune serum skin test is used in diagnosing autoimmune urticaria. The treatment of urticaria mainly targets histamine, which is the main culprit here. So drug of choice in urticaria is antihistaminic drugs. 
If no response, alternatives are systemic steroids, leukotriene inhibitors, and immunosuppressants. Wow, you made it to the end of the video. If you reached till here and learned something new, smash the like button right now. And please share this video to all your friends and tell them to subscribe to my channel. I'm glad to say that my channel is gonna reach 20,000 subscribers in less than a week. You can watch more videos by clicking on any of the videos here and check out my channel 2 Minute Doc by clicking on the button on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.